I'll be drawing criminals in order to arrest them. Tell me your problem, sir. He was wearing a green t-shirt. Okay, I need to draw the shirt. Okay, cool. I could do this. I'm basically Picasso. There we go. Yep, it probably looked something like this. Yep, we'll color that in. What else did he look like, sir? He also had black glasses on. Okay, let's make sure that we draw that. Did he look like this, sir? Let's see. Let's try to match it up with who actually did it. This guy looks awfully suspicious, but they're not wearing any glasses, so it can't be them. Not that guy. They're not wearing any green. That is clearly a woman. Oh, this is definitely our guy. Knock, knock. Who's there? The law. It was you. I know it was you. You're going to prison, boy. Let's go, guys. He was guilty. And we earned $100 for that. All right, bring in the next case. The Jigsaw Jumbler, the Dizzy Intruder, or the Award Show Swindler. Okay, tell me about this person. She was wearing an orange skirt. Don't worry, sir. Deputy Donut is on the case. Okay, orange skirt. Let's just draw that. Yep, orange skirt. Looks just like this. We'll color that in. Looks good. What else did she have? And blonde hair. For some reason, I, I had a feeling that she had blonde hair. And she probably had, like, some sort of weapon, too. Like a like a gun or something. Yeah, just like that. All right, let's see if we can find this lady. Mm, interesting. I mean, it could be any one of them. Uh, no blonde hair. No blonde hair. Oh, wait a second. There's only one person in this lineup that has blonde hair. Get on the floor now! You're under arrest! Hands in the air where I can see them! Yeah, that's right. Guilty! The barber shop burglar. Interesting. Okay, so I need to decide as the prison warden, as Deputy Donut, should I release them or do I keep them in jail? It seems like they're following everything that they should. So let's go ahead and we'll release them. Just whatever you do, don't do it again. If you do, Deputy Donut will be on the case. Bring in the next case, the dizzy intruder. The intruder was very dizzy. Okay, um, how do you draw a dizzy? Maybe like they have glasses on? Maybe, possibly. I'm just guessing here because I am Deputy Donut and I know exactly what to do. Their eyes were probably all like decombobulated like that. They were probably pretty sad because I get sad when I'm dizzy and probably like really confused, right? So like confusion marks. Tell me a little bit more about this person. They were also wearing a brown hat. I'm curious how they knew they were dizzy. Did they maybe hit them in the head with a baseball bat? Okay, let's see. This one might be my hardest case yet. It looks like we have a few dizzy people. All right, well, this person is clearly in disguise, but I don't think they committed a crime. Okay, we're looking for the brown hat dizziness. It was you. It was definitely you. My criminal senses are tingling. Oh, yes. Arrest. Oh, yeah, boy. We got him. Guilty as charged. Let's see. Next up, we have the world's smallest heist. Any crime, no matter how large or small, is still a crime. Remember that, kids. The robber was wearing purple. Okay, we don't know exactly what they were wearing, but their midsection will have purple. There we go. Yep, they were probably wearing a purple trash bag for all I care. What else were they wearing? He had her hair tied up. Interesting. We don't know what color hair it could have been. It could have been green, maybe orange. It could have been red. If it's red, she's getting a rest. But it was all tied up, so let's just tie all that up. Yup. Boom. There we go. Put a little bow on our knot. And let's see. This might be the most difficult person to find. Um, okay. Purple. That's that's more of a, a navy blue. You're wearing purple, but I don't think your hair is tied up. And you also, you're missing a nose. I don't think anybody without a nose would ever dare commit a crime. I just have one question for you, lady. Get on the floor now! Get on the floor! You're under arrest! <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't a question, but you're under arrest! That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how they taught me in cop school. All right, bring in the next one. The fake-nosed fraud. Interesting. Okay, this guy looks like a character. Okay, so it was a woman. Her hair was light brown. Okay, we don't know exactly what kind of hair she's gonna have, but I have a feeling it's gonna be kind of curly. So we'll draw, like, a little brown afro. And she had crazy eyes. Okay, yeah, I can I can totally do that. Let's make them pink so I know that they're crazy. And she was in disguise. Oh, interesting. I did not expect that whatsoever. So she's probably wearing, I don't know, like, some sort of bra disguise like this. Probably maybe a little bit of a mustache going on. What else is a good disguise? Maybe some, some fake sunglasses as well. That is our criminal. Let's see if we can line the picture up with the person that did the crime. Okay, crazy eyes. Uh, I guess, yeah, they kind of do have crazy eyes. They also have crazy eyes. Okay, I think that it's this lady. She looks like she's in a disguise. She has, like, weird spirally eyes. It's you. You're going to prison. Federal lock. Oh, what? Oh, she had brown hair. Oh, I maybe forgot about that part. Wait a second. She has a twin. No, wait. It's her. It's her. It's gotta be. 
be her. I knew it. Are you kidding me? She had a twin sister the whole time. It's the perfect crime, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a twin, then the twin could get arrested for you. I think they were wearing a blue or green top. Okay, um, I could work with that. But we'll draw the left side as green, just so I don't forget. And then we'll, uh, we'll come down the center once again. It could also be wearing a long sleeve shirt. So let's make sure that we draw that so that I don't forget. And uh, had a dark brown mustache. <laughs> okay, this is definitely gonna be one of those, like, big curly mustaches. Yep, just like that. They probably have little tiny beady eyes and a little nose, just like that. And I have a weird suspicion that he'll also have ears hair. Don't ask me why. That's our criminal, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now all I gotta do is match it up with the description. Blue or green? Honestly, guys, this is kind of, I don't know, a little bit weird, but I think that it's this person. They're wearing blue and they also have a mustache that's dark brown. It has to be this person. And I think they might be British. You're going to prison, governor. Yes! Guilty! <laughs> We just made $675. Okay, we still have a lot of money left over and we can go ahead and get even more money by arresting the award show swindler. Sounds like they maybe stole an award from somebody and okay, the person that just walked in, I'm pretty sure they were part invisible. Anyway, I guess it's not a crime to be invisible. The thief had red hair. Okay, I mean, that's literally all I have to know. They are clearly a criminal. I don't need to know anything else. Just, I don't even care. Uh, don't, don't even don't even tell me. I, I really, it, that's fine. Yep, we'll just draw something. Yep, they had a tie on. That's great. I just need to find the red hair person. It's one of you two. It's gotta be this guy. This guy just, I don't know. He kind of just looks like a criminal. Does that make sense? Was I right? Oh yeah. Guilty. Boom. Okay. Why are people walking into the precinct wearing clown noses? What are they thinking? How am I supposed to take them seriously? The attacker was scary. Dressed in black. That's probably what they sound like. Okay. Dressed in black. Interesting. I mean, also, I don't know. Maybe it was just dark out so they couldn't see what color the clothing was. I gotta keep that into account. All right. There we go. Black. Make sure to color in the lines. Yep, that looks pretty good. I feel like they also have ginormous eyeballs. They're gonna be so surprised when they see me. They probably have like a couple little baby hairs like this and maybe nostrils like that and then a really big mouth. They're gonna like look like a crazed killer. That's who we're looking for. What else were they wearing? Oh, they had short hair. See, I called it. I knew it. All right, I guess we'll add a couple little freckles of hair. Come to think of it, they look like a vampire. That is my best drawing of the entire day. Let's see, vampire teeth. Uh, you have a tattoo on your face, but but no vampire teeth. Oh, this guy right here. You are the only one that looks like Count Dracula. No, no, not you. Not, 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 no, not you. It, it's 100% you. I was like 50% right. And 50% equals 100% chance of you going to prison and me collecting more money. Report card became a captain of a sports team. I didn't realize they had sports in prison. That's pretty cool. Good behavior, made friends. Mm. Well, you did intrude upon somebody's house while they were taking a shower fully clothed. So I guess, yeah, you did the time. We'll go ahead and we'll release you for the day. Just whatever you do, don't do it again. So why are you still dizzy? You've been in prison for the past hour. I feel like she might need some Dramamine or something. The wet bandit. I'm pretty sure this is the person from Home Alone. It had been raining that day. Okay, so they're probably a little bit wet. Let's just, yep, draw some, draw some raindrops. There we go. It's raining and stuff. W-E-T. And they have some eyeballs, a nose, and they'll probably be pretty sad because they're wet. All right, let's see, what else? The bandit was wearing a coat. Interesting, interesting. Probably a yellow coat. And she wore purple. Well, okay, maybe like a like a purple inside of the jacket, like this. Kind of connected her belly button to her nipples, just like that. Draw it down the middle. And I think, I mean, there's probably a hundred percent chance that the person is going to look exactly like this. Oh, it's this lady for sure. No, not not you. You got punched in the face, so I'm gonna let you go. This person, look at that. They have a raincoat on. I don't know exactly what their eyeballs are doing. Like they have orange eyes, but they also kind of look like a raccoon a little bit, like they're wearing a mask. But she has wet written all all over her face and also guilty. Jack, you did it again. The sandwich shop shootout. Okay, that sounds like the most intense case of the day. Most of the people, like, I don't know, they just kind of walked into somebody's house or, you know, like, stole a pair of scissors. Nobody, I think, has shot a weapon yet. All right, what'd they look like? The criminal had dark hair. All right, so probably black. Let's see, if I had to guess, they probably had, like, a stupid haircut, like this, like a, like a bowl cut, and they had, like, some, like, little hairs coming down like this. All right, give me some more information. They were wearing a skirt. Interesting. Probably a yellow skirt. Go ahead and draw just, like, a nice 
nice big old skirt, just like that. There we go. It probably had something stupid on it, like flowers, maybe like a tulip or something. Okay, what else? What else? And they looked crazy. You mean like this? Did they look like this? They probably did. Okay, so they definitely had like crazy eyeballs like that. And then a nose and then a really sad face. Okay, perfect. Let's go match this picture up with the criminal. Which one of you did it? Mm, oh, this person looks a little suspicious. They were wearing a skirt though, and they looked crazy. My criminal senses are tingling more so over here. It's you, I know that it's you. You're under arrest, lady. Get behind bars. Oh yeah, we hit double digits. I might be the best police officer the world has ever seen. A clumsy clown. All right, this one's gonna be a closed door case. Open and shut. They had a red nose. I mean, of course they did, bro. They're a clown. They probably had like McDonald's hair. Just like that. Probably like really far apart eyes. And then the clowns are always like weirdly happy. So they probably look something like this. I feel like they probably had pepperoni nipples and no belly button. They had a light blue clothes. Okay. All right. I can work with that. Let's see. Wait, what? Do clowns wear light blue? I mean, I'm trying to picture a clown right now. I think that they might. Yeah. This a little bit down the sleeves. So it's probably yeah, like light blue like this. And then maybe some like red stripes on there or something like where's Waldo? What else? But they did not have a perfect smile. Okay. I really, I honestly have no idea what that means. So does that mean that like, it's like this? It's like a really like curvy smile. I have no idea, but we're going to find out. Let's see. All right. I can't see your face. So mm, interesting. Okay. This lady, she is panicking. I just want to remind everybody here that nobody is above the law, not even clowns, but I am above the law. Matter of fact, I am the law and I will find you. I will sniff you out like the criminal that you are. Oh, this guy. Interesting. He's wearing blue. He's a, he's a clown, but he has a perfect smile. Like he looks good. Maybe this person? We got to give it a shot. Let's see. They're wearing partially blue. Yes, I did it. Let's go. Get in prison. I love my job. It looks like the world's smallest heist lady it has about done her time of 45 minutes in prison. She was friendly, good behavior, always followed orders. I just feel like it's not enough time. I mean, I guess I'll release you because that's the only way I'll get paid. But if you do anything else, you're going back. Okay, how much money did I make? Let's see. $350. Oh yeah, boys. Ooh, 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 ooh. A taco shop tussle. I mean, that sounds too interesting to not investigate. All right, come on in. Tell me about this taco criminal. The attacker's hair was middle parted and short. Okay, these are getting oddly specific. Middle parted, so like this, right? And then short, so it probably looked like this. And then maybe it had like a, I don't know, like a big nose, eyeballs, and then like a very stern tone. Had some little hairs in there. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. They got punched in the mouth. Okay, so their mouth is probably gonna be like just a little bit bloody. They had one big eyebrow. All right, I don't know exactly how to draw that. Maybe like this. Okay, I, I don't understand understand. Why is this the person I'm looking for? I also cannot forget that they had something to do with tacos. We'll make a taco right here with some like beef on it, some like rice on the bottom, maybe some like guacamole. If you can't tell, I'm hungry. Okay, let's see if we can find this taco criminal. Uh, middle parted hair. I think that's the main thing I'm going to go off on right now. We're looking for a big eyebrow as well, but maybe honestly it's this person because they're missing a tooth, so they probably got punched in the mouth. Their hair kind of parts in the middle, and it looks like maybe they have tacos behind their jacket. It's you. I know that it's you. I can sniff out a criminal from a mile away. That's why they pay me money. Oh my gosh, we just got over a thousand dollars. Yes! That is my best one yet! Let's go. Oh, I'm totally gonna be able to afford a brand new upgrade. The wicked wrongdoer is our next suspect. The wrongdoer had their neck covered. Hmm, interesting. So they probably had like some sort of maybe like light blue scarf, right? Like a scarf coming down like that. Maybe it had like some orange stripes on it. I'm just thinking outside the box right now. You never know with these people. Okay, what else? Their hair was blonde. All right, probably very basic hair like this. Probably like, I don't know, seven different hair follicles. And they were listening to music. Okay, so they probably had, I don't know, like a pair of maybe like AirPods or something. Or maybe like AirPods pod maxes. So draw that and then we'll connect it. Gotta draw some eyes here. They're probably pretty happy because they're listening to music. And there we go. Okay, you're wearing headphones. Interesting. With blonde hair, I might add, but I could see your neck. We're looking for somebody definitely with a scarf. A scarf and headphones or this person, but they don't really have any hair. They're bald, so yeah, they don't really deserve to be in prison. But this person, however, is looking awfully suspicious. You're looking a little too comfortable there, buddy. I mean, I really want to arrest this 
guy for obvious reasons. But it's definitely you. I know you did it. You're going to prison, boy. <laughs> He's so angry. Deputy Donut strikes again. That's going to wrap it up for Deputy Donut today. Make sure you guys smash like with your face if you want to see more. And click right here to watch me bust more criminals.